talking about? Well, what else? Extremely cold temperatures. They're killing our batteries, man. Morning, Lou. <laughs> good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Tom. Yes, this cold weather is extremely stressful on a car's battery. When it gets to be zero degrees and colder outside, your battery can become 50% less powerful and that's 50 as in 50 as in half it's half as powerful as when it's 70 degrees outside now combine that with the cold temperatures and and the, how thick the oil gets it's going to be really difficult to start your vehicle with a weakened battery if you've got a good healthy battery that's okay it's just going to be a little weaker but if you have a weak battery these cold temperatures can mean a dead battery so it's important that when your battery is dead, take it to a mechanic or a parts store, have them check it out. Most of the time, a parts store or mechanic is going to say, hey, dude, your battery is about five years old. Your battery can only last so long, need a new battery. People get a new battery and they go on with their life. But there are some people that refuse to acknowledge their battery had a good life. And these people will actually try to blame it on something. They'll think, geez, well, what's happened? And they might think, well, I had Jimmy go get a pizza two days ago. That must be it. That must be why my battery is dead. That's not why. Batteries have a lifespan and they only last so long. Now, some rogue mechanics might say, well, uh, your battery's dead because uh, something's drawing down on the battery. Well, something is always drawing down on the battery and that can be measured in milliamps. Typically, today's cars are drawing 30 to 60 milliamps constantly, but that's okay. As long as the vehicle is being driven regularly, and as long as the vehicle is a healthy battery, it can sustain that, so it's not a problem. Now, how do we know if your battery is in a weakened state? Maybe it's four or five years old and you kind of want to check it. The best thing to do is to do a, a draw test, but it's not practical at somebody's home, so this is what I recommend. This here is a digital voltmeter. Get one of these, have them at your home. They're not that expensive. I would send you to Radio Shack, but they're not around anymore, so get on Amazon. These devices are $15 to $20, and check your battery. Good, healthy batteries are typically 12.5 to 12.8 volts. And you'll know if your battery is good or not. If you measure it, your battery is five years old, it's measuring 12.2, 12.3, think about getting a new battery. I'm running out of time here. We're going to talk more about this right about quarter till, so stay tuned. Tom and Tracy, back to you. All right. Thank you, Lou. Thanks, Lou. I know you were thinking about your battery because you know the is, temperatures are tough. Mine so. is four years old, and yeah. uh, actually my son has that tester, and I'm at like 12.4. Okay. So uh, I... Put but my you're car. mindful. Yes, and that's mindful what impresses me. And you're uh, thinking about this. I'm still here, but I managed to fit the car in the garage <laughs> with my wife's car. <laughs> that's right. Keep mine too. So I was lucky. I was lucky in this case. Hey, Lou Norman, talking about checking your car battery on a day like today. Extremely appropriate in these extreme temperatures. Yeah. Good morning, Lou. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Tom. If there's anyone out there that parked their car outside last night and you have to go to work, I would should suggest checking your car a little earlier than later so that if you've got any battery issues, you can address them. When it gets to be zero degrees and colder outside, your battery can be 50% less powerful. That's half as powerful as when it's 70 degrees outside. So cold temperatures can really do a number on your battery. But if you've got a good, healthy battery, it's not really an issue. Your battery can get through it. But if you have a battery that is a weak battery, these cold temperatures can mean a dead battery. So these cold temperatures can really be stressful on your vehicle's battery. Now, sometimes people want to blame something on the battery being dead. Well, you shouldn't do that. If your battery is four, five, six years old, that's typically the lifespan of a battery, and in these cold temperatures is the final straw. So sometimes you just need to get a new battery. Now, in the earlier segment, we talked about getting a voltmeter, and this is a digital voltmeter that you can get maybe at a parts store, they're on Amazon, 15 to 20 dollars is all they cost, and it can measure the voltage of, of your battery. A good, healthy, newer battery typically is 12.5 to 12.8 volts. It's not a perfect test, but it gives you an indication of your battery condition. So if your battery is five years old, like mine is, and I just tested it the other day, and it's 12.2 volts, I know that I, 
I'm thinking about getting a new battery here pretty soon. Now, this same meter that's testing your battery can also test if your battery's being charged. If your engine is running, this should measure 13.7 to about 15 volts. If it's not, you know your battery's not being charged. These are great devices for $15 or $20. And they can also be used to check the batteries in your remote control for your TV and other batteries at home. If you have a 1.5 AA battery, this should be reading 1.5, 1.6 volts. If it's reading 1.3 volts, you know your AA battery is bad. So it's good to have that meter. And for people that are parking outside all the time and they can't drive their vehicle regularly, I recommend getting something like a trickle charger or something like a little battery blanket. Believe it or not, they make them and it helps your battery be there when you need it. So with having your battery ready when you need it, I'm Lou, Tracy, and Tom, back to you. So Lou, let, let's just play the other end of this. Let's say I'm one of those people that I'm just not going to go and get this device. I'm just not going to do it. Can't I just stop and ask somebody to check my battery too? Isn't that an option? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can stop at a local auto parts store and say, hey, I'm just concerned. Can you check my battery? And they can do that for you. All right. So it is easy no matter Absolutely. what your situation. Absolutely. Thanks, Thank you, Lou. Lou.